Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 12 work from home jobs hiring now for December 2018. These are at a company called Vox Media, and they are behind a lot of major blogs and stuff like that. So you have like Eater, you have SB Nation, you have all kinds of different blogs and websites and brands that they are behind and Vox Media is kind of the parent company of all of those. So to check out their careers where they have a lot of work from home jobs available fairly often, you can go to voxmedia.com, go to the top right where it says careers next to contact and news, just go to career openings and then you can see what they have available. They'll talk about your benefits at the top of the page and then you can see what they have here. So you can see that they have uh, multiple brands that they're hiring for. I already did a video on the SB Nation jobs that are available where they have like 10 sports related jobs that you can do if you're a sports fan. Um, I'm gonna go over the other ones now in this video. So for the Eater, they have a part-time associate editor and a freelance eater illustrator available as far as working from home. One of them's also in Los Angeles, the other one's in New York. So for the associate editor, a few things you'll be doing, you'll help the Eater LA's lead editor with reporting and writing of breaking news stories and reblogs as assigned, strive to learn to meet Eater's journalistic standards, attend monthly one-to-one -one meetings with lead editor, Check openings and keep in touch with chefs, restauranters, uh, and relevant spokespeople for coverage as assigned. Make connections with local restaurant PR, chefs, etc. You'll need one year experience in journalism, um, comfort and cold calling, ability to work remotely, a drive to beat the competition, experience with photography and Instagrams a plus, fluency in Spanish is bonus points. So those are some of the parts of that job. They have another one, same brand, Freelance Eater Illustrator. Some of the things you'll do, uh, you will, you'll execute design, you'll take design direction and execute on the vision of the manager of visuals and design. You'll work closely with manager of visuals and design on editorial needs. You'll accept and resolve critiques, participate in design reviews when needed. Um, you'll advocate for acceptable design. You'll follow accessibility guidelines in your work, things like that. Uh, you need proven work experience as an illustrator, graphic designer, or similar role. Demonstrable portfolio of completed illustrations, solid knowledge of image editing and digital sketching software like Photoshop, InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, and stuff like that. And those are some of the main things. As pretty much with all of these, you can uh, as you can submit your application and apply for this job by just filling out this form and clicking the blue button at the bottom. So another few jobs that they have available, they have obviously a bunch for SB Nation. Again, I already made a video if you wanna see the details on that, or you can just go to voxmedia.com and check them out. Um, the Verge has a uh, reviews editor position open that you can do remotely from home. So you'll have you'll have to have skills and organization, delegation, operational efficacies, the ability to balance editor responsibilities and personal reporting, be able to take meetings in the Bay Area as needed, be able to work from the San Francisco office as necessary. So you might want to be in the San Francisco area for that one, even though you do get to work from home a lot you'll be as an editor on this team you will be responsible for delivering on those promises to the audience that they mentioned above um, you know it's a basic editor job you'll work closely with the staff freelancers you'll be responsible for finding and editing in addition to it editing you will have the opportunity to write reviews and news and appear in related video projects all right and then you have Another one at Vox.com, which is a social media producer. You'll run Vox's Facebook and Twitter accounts and other accounts as needed. Occasionally help with live event coverage, such as debates, award shows, etc. 
live on social, monitor trending social and search topics, and ensure our accounts are relevant to the conversation. Pitch stories to partner platforms such as Apple News. Uh, you'll bring a proven track record running social for major media outlets or brands, incredible attention to detail and intolerance for errors. Creative writer able to execute social posts quickly under pressure. You're good with Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Background journalism is a plus um, and those types of things. You'll need to have a 140 character cover letter, your resume, list of the social accounts for a brand that you have managed, three examples of how you would share, promote a recent story on Vox. All right, so if you like social media, that's a good one. That's for Vox.com. You can also be in the DC or New York areas if you want to like actually work in a physical location. And then you have you know, a bunch of other ones in the product technology and design areas. I'll just go over a few of these so this video doesn't get too long. But um, for instance, you have like a, a front end engineer. You also have a senior product designer. For the front end engineer, you'll improve and iterate the front end code base and create tools for best in class user experiences. Work closely with design and product to launch publishing partners onto the Chorus platform, foster and contribute to shared values around design and engineering in a culture of constructive collaboration, things like that. You'll bring experience with modern, accessible, responsive HTML and CSS, um, familiarity with JavaScript, familiarity with web templ templating, such as Rails and Django. You experience in a cross-functional team where design and engineering are equal stakeholders. Things like that it does not say much about if you need a degree or any of that type of stuff. So that's another one. Again, they have a ton of these available. Just go to Vox Media when you get a chance, and you could probably find something that you might be able to qualify for. Um, senior product manager chorus. You have full stack engineer chorus, director of SRE, senior product designer, project manager, chorus partners. Full stack engineer, chorus partners. I just went over front end engineer, and you have senior product designer, chorus. So you can check those out as needed. Uh, sales and client success. They do not really have any work from home jobs in that area available right now, but um, that's pretty much it. If you want to just kind of check these out and see what looks good to you, again, they also have like 10. Uh, sports jobs available as well that I covered in another video for uh, hockey teams, a few basketball teams, a couple baseball teams. Um, if you want to read reviews from past employees of Vox Media before you apply just to see if there's any uh, uh, pros and cons that you're looking for, you can read through 105 reviews on glassdoor.com. Just type in Vox Space Media, click search. They have a 3.6 out of 5 star rating overall. And on Indeed.com, which is another job site, you, they have a 3.9 out of 5 star rating out of 16 reviews. So between those two, you can read over 100 reviews of people who have actually worked for Vox Media and see what they're like to actually work for. If you want some more work from home jobs available, you want to see what is available right now, you can go to selfmadesuccess.com, go to online jobs in the top right corner, or go to the link in the uh, YouTube video description. And on this page, I embed these videos. I have the links to the jobs. I have links to the reviews. I have links to um, tools and tests that you can take as well to help you get the job. So that's it for this video. If you thought this was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. If you want to let me know what you thought about the video or share something you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And other than that, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.